I've always, 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 always wanted to make this. I found these hair dryers at the Friday market here in Cairo. Let's see if I can fix any of the fans inside to make this. I also saved these plastic tubes packaging since forever and I knew that they'd be perfect for my little tube man. The plan is to find a 12 volt adapter, fix it and attach it as a power source to the blow dryer fan. This is how most blow dryers work. This one is missing a heating element like that one, but anyway, this is how it works. In order to lower the power coming into the hair dryer to turn on the fan, which only needs 12 volts, it is used first to heat the coil and then operate the fan. So in that case, the heating element acts as a resistor as well. And the four diodes on the motor here convert the current from AC to DC. Pretty clever, right? So I removed these diodes, don't need them, and these are all the fans I could get. Let's fix them. But first I fixed the adapter. I found a 12 volt adapter, tried to bust it open like the others since I thought it had no screws as well. Turns out the screw is hidden underneath the sticker. But it's okay, I'll figure something out later. This is the inside of an adapter. I just had to solder these two wires because they were detached. Now it should breathe a little bit above 12 volts and it works. And now fixing the case with the zipper, of course. And it does the job. I love taking apart old products because I see how people used to fix their stuff. This wire used to be held in place using a little piece from the mica board that was cut during production to save on material. But since that was missing, someone cut off the red switch instead, a little piece of it, and used that instead. Okay, so why would a DC motor stop working? It's rusty and dirty, the coil is broken or dented, the brushes are broken, or like that one, one of the magnets on the brushes fell. So I cleaned some and replaced some parts, let's see if this works. No, I have no idea why some won't work like that one. If you do, comment and let me know why. I'll try another. And I managed to fix some of them. Now for the vase, I'll use a plastic container and drill in some holes for the air. It failed. Aerodynamics failed me. So I'll try this instead. I'll use the hair dryer itself. Make a connector piece. Attach the tube. And it will work. Yay! Now I'll make a base from scrap wood. I'll mark everything out and take it to a carpenter since I don't have a table saw or a drill press. So I just got back from the carpenter and I wanted to drill out this circle and he started using a drill bit that wasn't the same size and he didn't even drill it in the same place and I, when I told him he just told me, oh, you want it the same size? So I guess I'll fix this myself. It kind of works. I made a hole that fit both the hair dryer and the connector piece. I'll sand this, fix the switch. I did, and it works. I'll paint my tube man tinker yellow, and it failed. It did not stick to the plastic. I tried acrylics drew my favorite emoji and epic fail it did not even move it's too thick now so i found this marker it doesn't make a thick layer but it doesn't also really stick to the plastic small success so i'll solder the wires ring holes screw it all together attach the tube and i'm a proud mama